India has achieved a significant milestone in defense technology with the successful test of the AD-1 missile. This development marks a leap in India's ballistic missile defense capabilities. Let's explore what this means for India's defense strategy and how it fits into the broader picture of missile defense. The AD-1 missile was recently tested from APJ Abdul Kalam Island in Odisha. This new missile represents a substantial upgrade, capable of intercepting incoming ballistic missiles fired from up to 5,000 kilometers away. This test marks a significant advancement from the previous phase, which targeted missiles up to 2,000 kilometers. The AD-1 missile is designed to counter both ballistic missiles and low-flying fighter aircraft, making it a versatile addition to India's defense arsenal. It is primarily effective in the endo-atmospheric region, but can also operate in the lower exo-atmospheric region. The AD-1 missile's enhanced capability is a game-changer for India's defense. With the ability to intercept missiles from up to 5,000 kilometers away, it significantly extends the range of India's missile defense system. This advancement means that India can now handle much longer-range threats, providing a robust shield against potential attacks. One of the standout features of the AD-1 missile is its dual function. It is designed to counter both ballistic missiles and low-flying fighter aircraft. This versatility ensures that the missile can be deployed in various scenarios, enhancing India's overall defense strategy and providing a comprehensive protective measure. The AD-1 missile operates primarily in the endo-atmospheric region, which is within Earth's atmosphere, extending up to about 100 kilometers above sea level. However, it also has the capability to function in the lower exo-atmospheric region, where the atmosphere is extremely thin. This dual operational range adds to the missile's versatility and effectiveness. To fully grasp the AD-1 missile's capabilities, it's essential to understand the endo-atmospheric and exo-atmospheric regions. The endo-atmospheric region is the part of space within Earth's atmosphere, extending from the surface up to about 100 kilometers above sea level. Objects in this region face air resistance, affecting their trajectory, and weather conditions like wind and rain are significant factors. In contrast, the exo-atmospheric region starts above the endo-atmospheric boundary, where the atmosphere is extremely thin. Objects here experience near-vacuum conditions with negligible atmospheric effects, and spacecraft are influenced more by gravity than atmospheric drag. The endo-atmospheric region includes lower orbits like low Earth orbit. Objects in this region are affected by atmospheric pressure and weather conditions, making it a challenging environment for missile interception. The exo-atmospheric region includes higher orbits and deep space. Conditions here are close to a vacuum with no significant weather effects, making it a different challenge for missile defense systems. The main differences between these regions lie in atmospheric impact and environmental conditions. The endo-atmospheric region has significant air resistance and weather effects, while the exo-atmospheric region has minimal atmospheric impact and vacuum-like conditions. Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO. Chairman Dr. Samir V. Kamat announced that India is working on technology for high exo-atmospheric intercepts. By 2025, the goal is to have a complete system capable of tackling threats across various atmospheric regions. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh praised the AD-1 missile as a unique and advanced interceptor, highlighting its significant enhancement to India's ballistic missile defense capabilities. The AD-1 missile test marks a major leap in India's missile defense capabilities, reinforcing its ability to intercept long-range ballistic threats. As India advances its defense technology, understanding the endo- and exo-atmospheric regions is crucial. Stay tuned for more updates on India's defense advancements. India has achieved a significant milestone in defense technology with the successful test of the AD-1 missile. This advancement marks a leap in India's ballistic missile defense capabilities. The AD-1 missile was tested from APJ Abdul Kalam Island in Odisha. It is designed to intercept incoming ballistic missiles fired from up to 5,000 kilometers away, a substantial upgrade from previous capabilities. The AD-1 missile can counter both ballistic missiles and low-flying fighter aircraft. It operates primarily in the endo-atmospheric region, but can also function in the lower exo-atmospheric region, enhancing its versatility. The endo-atmospheric region extends up to 100 kilometers above sea level, where air resistance and weather conditions affect objects. The exo-atmospheric region starts above this boundary, with near-vacuum conditions and minimal atmospheric impact. Defense Research and Development Organization Chairman Dr. Samir V. Kamat announced plans for high exo-atmospheric intercepts by 2025, aiming for a comprehensive defense system. 
Defense Minister Rajnath Singh praised the AD-1 as a unique and advanced interceptor, 